Hi, I'm Laura. 11 years ago, my boyfriend Luke and I set off for a gap year that accidentally changed our lives. Since we left home in 2010, we have lived in New Zealand, Australia, South Korea, Mexico, and are now living in Lithuania. These videos are a small window into the adventures we seek along the way. Good afternoon, what an intro here next to this <laughs> shipping container. We have just arrived in Zarasai. Zarasai? Zarasai. Zarasai. <laughs> and we are gonna head to the lake here. It's a little town. It took us about 50 minutes to get here from Utena. And yeah, it has this huge lake in the middle of the lake. There's an island. There's supposed to be a nice bu uh, viewing platform. So hoping to, to see some nature and do some walking and stay warm, I think. <laughs> let's, uh, let's see what it's all about. Zarasei is a town in eastern Lithuania, very close to the border with Latvia, and about 40 minutes away from Utena, where we live. There was an easy and direct bus, which meant we could head for a day trip and spend a few hours exploring the town. The region is known best for all of its lakes, of which there are some 300 of varying sizes within the Zarasei district. We're in the sort of main plaza, an absolute hub of activity. And uh, we are looking at the church, St. Mary's Ascension, I believe it's called. It's quite nice, actually. Uh, but the main event is the lake, so got my hat on. I think it's almost going to be time for some gloves. It's pretty chilly. It's about about 2.30 in the afternoon. And uh, I'm feeling the chill. <laughs> As we got closer to the lake, there were so many colorful old wooden houses lining the streets. We also spotted some really cool street art that's been painted over an old garage near the lakefront. But the main event, at least for me, was this panorama bridge. It stands 17 meters or 55 feet above ground and loops out to offer an incredible view of the lake and the surrounding hills. You can then follow the lake path for one and a half kilometers until you reach the great island of Lake Zarasas. We are walking along the observation deck now that takes you out over the lake. You can see it's pretty windy. Also, it kind of sways, which I don't love as like other people walk. Not like a like a bridge, but it does move a little bit as you walk. But uh, wow, what a view. It's so beautiful. My lips are a little numb. So pretty. So we're gonna follow this path over to, I believe this, island here. There's a little beach over here. I don't know where to go. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna get moving though because it's cold. <laughs> Some really beautiful, like uh, these old wooden houses along the lakefront. What a view! So nice. Lots of you guys recommended this place to us uh, if we wanted to find somewhere to go walking and be out in a little bit more nature. And, uh, ooh, this is deep. <laughs> um, it's so beautiful. I imagine during the summer months, um, obviously the beach will be busy with people. I've heard that this island hosts like events and, and concerts and stuff. Uh, but it's really nice to have it not all to ourselves. There's a, very, there's a few people here on a Sunday, but uh, it's still pretty quiet for walking and it's so calm. It's delightful. Once we were on the island, we followed a loop trail that took us along the edges of the forest and the lakefront. Just found this, this swing. <laughs> Looks out over the, uh, the lake. 
and moves you back into the town. It's really cool. It might be a little bit chilly, but it is so fresh. The air is so crisp. Even in Utana, it's not this, this fresh. And this lake is huge. We just keep walking around this little island and the lake just keeps going. It's pretty incredible. It's really, really beautiful. I'm glad that we came for the day and uh, checked it out. We're still enjoying these different trails and uh, yeah, probably another hour or so of walking around. Maybe we'll find a cafe we can warm up and get a cup of tea or something, but I'm so glad we came, it's so beautiful. It's just after 5 p.m. The sun's starting to go down already. It's happening quick now, these short days, but uh, we just came back up on the bridge to, to get a nice view of the lake before we head to the bus station. It's really quite beautiful. I've come to accept that it's not just a Lithuania thing, it's like around a lot of parts of Europe where you have to pay to use the bathroom. That's fine. But in Lithuania, especially in like lake pl places like that are almost like beaches um, outside of the big bigger cities and stuff, <laughs> it's always a squat toilet. I didn't realize that squat toilets had made it this far west. I haven't seen any since I left Asia five years ago, so I'm intrigued. Is this like a pretty common thing around Lithuania? I mean, I, it, it seems to be. I've seen it in a couple of places. However, I just made 50 cents a whopping 50 cents to use squat toilets. <laughs> that seems like a lot. However, there was toilet paper. <sighs> Been in worse and paid more. <laughs> there weren't really any cafes open by the, by the lake. I think it's partly because it's Sunday and partly because it seems like mostly a, a summer town. A lot of the stuff was like shut down for, for winter. But uh, I'm really glad we came. Spent about three hours here. Headed back to the bus station now, and yeah, it's so beautiful. It was a nice day out, so thanks to everyone who recommended it. We enjoyed the uh, the walking trails and stuff and, and seeing the lake, so if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really supports my channel, my <laughs> gloved hands, and I will see you next time. Bye!